Hey, what's up guys, it's the Chosen One. You know the deal. Today we're playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and I'm gonna be doing a moveset and gameplay video on Ryu. And we're gonna get into this because I'm super excited to play with him. Um, probably one of my favorite characters to play with. And uh, first of all, let's just get into his light attacks. Um, if you guys are Street Fighter fans, he's basically have this. He has the same move set from Street Fighters. Um, he's got A to do a jab. Um, if you hold A, he does that uppercut, and that does 14 damage. So with Ryu and Ken, you can actually tap A and hold A. So he has different attacks. When you hold A, he does that back kick, and that does 12 damage rather than just tapping A. And he does that little jab that does one damage, but you can combo all that together. And then he does that uppercut, which is really cool. So you could do jab, 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 and combo all those little light strikes together. They make really cool moves. Like So like I said, if even just holding A does that uppercut for 14 damage. Ryu is a beast. Um, Alright, so those are his light attacks. Just tapping A and holding A. That's the tap. This is the hold. And then now we're going to get into uh, the different directions. Down and A. He does a, a low spin kick. And you can charge that up. And if you fully charge it. It's a great move. It does 26 damage. It's a great move when you have someone in front of you and someone behind you. Um, just down an A, he just does like, he does that, uh, that spinning low kick. He also does like a side kick like that, and that does 8 damage. Alright, so, and then if you press, uh, left an A, he does a side kick. And then he does that in both directions, and you can hold that and charge that. And that does 26 damage. I love that move. Especially when you come out of a nice roll and a dodge. And then you hit him with that. It's a great counter. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, up in A. He does this uppercut. That does 20 damage. Quick uppercut. And uh, if you fully charge that uppercut. With up in A. 28 damage. And it's really nice because you could tap A and then combo that into there. Alright, so that's pretty much it for his light attacks. Right A. Down A. Left and right A. And then up and A. And that does that uppercut. Also, when you jump his jump attack, he has this... Uh, Downward punch, if you hit that right, does a lot of damage. Let's see if I can hit it. Let's see if I can hit it over here. That does 14 damage if you hit it right. And you can knock somebody out with that. Um, so that's pretty much it for his light attacks. Let's get into his uh, B attacks. So first of all, you could do the Hadouken, and that's with B. You just tap B, and that fires an energy wave from his palms. Holding down the button increases its speed and power, so you can hold that down, and it's going to make it stronger. Uh, forward and B, or left and B, does the Tatsumaki Senpu Kaiyaku. If I said that right, I probably butchered it. Um... Whirls with powerful kicks that move him forward for as long as the button is held. So you can hold that and that's going to bring you across the stage. Um, really cool spinning kick. I love that move. I, 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 we used to call it a tornado kick. Um, Alright, so up and B is the Shoryuken. Jumps with a powerful uppercut which is strongest at the start. Powerful and speed. Power and speed increases if held. So you can also hold that and charge that. Um... The closer the opponent is, obviously, at the start of the uppercut is the strongest. So if you hit somebody on the edge, with like at the end of it, it's really not going to do as much damage. Um, down and B, this is really cool. I like this a lot. I use this to counter a lot. Focuses, allowing himself to soak up one attack. The longer the charge, the longer the enemy is stunned. So basically, you can charge this. It's like a counter. 
down and B, hold it and charge it. And when the enemy goes to attack you, it's going to counter into this punch right to the stomach. And that's going to knock your opponent down. And that's going to give you an opportunity to actually hit with a heavy attack and knock them out. It's a really good stun move. I love that move a lot. Um, his final smash, um, the Shin Shoryuken uh, or the Shin Shinku Hadouken. So he has two different specials right there. Um, really cool specials. And it says, uh, unleashes a Shinku Hadouken that penetrates through the stage, allowing it to hit multiple opponents and deal serious damage. If uh, Ryu is close to an enemy, he uses a Shin Shoryuken uppercut attack instead. And that's an awesome Final Smash. I love it. Um, and also... This is a cool thing. Um, shout out to Epic Pancake on YouTube. He actually told me about this. And I didn't even know you can literally just go right down. And uh, they have command input. So if you're a Street Fighter fan and you know all the you know, reuse combos and Ken's combos, you can actually input these combos into Smash Brothers Ultimate and uh, do all the Street Fighter combos and not have to play like this because you can do all these you know, attacks right here with B. But you can also actually... Do the command input and input the combos from Street Fighter, which is an awesome, you know, little thing they put for Street Fighter fans. Um, I forgot where I read it somewhere. They said it's almost like a love note to Street Fighter fans. Really cool idea. I like this a lot. I like playing like this actually better. And if you're a Street Fighter fan, you can actually just jump in and play play Super Smash Bros. if you haven't yet. Um, it's a little different with the blocking and stuff. Um, but if you do these command inputs, these attacks are actually stronger than doing the B, you know, the B attacks. So if you play with the command input, you're going to get stronger moves and they last longer, they're quicker and you can do different stuff. So let's read this real quick. Some of Ryu's attacks can be executed by inputting the command with the control stick and attack button. This may raise the power of the attack and some can only be done this way. So uh, his command input right here, the Hadouken, and that's going to be the Street Fighter, you know, input. Um, the Shakun, I don't even know how to say that. I'm going to butcher this right here. Shakun Su Hadouken, and that's the red one. And the uh, Tatsumaki Senpu Kaiyaku, uh, and that's the Spin Kick, the Tornado Kick, and then the Shoryuken. And uh, when facing left, the directional inputs will be reversed. Um, the Hadouken, the red one has a shorter range than the regular, the blue Hadouken. But it's command input specific move that hits repeatedly. Okay. And then this is what I was talking about before, the move strength. Um, depending if you hold A or tap A, um, they have, you know, different levels and stuff like that. Special moves have... Three levels, light, medium, and heavy. So keep that in mind while you're using Ryu. Um, let's get into these Street Fighter inputs because I'm super excited to do it. Um, so this is the red fireball Hadouken. And that does 11 damage. And that's a five combo. And I like, I like doing the Street Fighter inputs because um, that's the only way you can actually do that fireball. Um, or, or you could do... Uh, with uh, B also. So you can do the input. And that's going to be. Um, well, with the way I'm facing. This is going to be left, down, right. And then B or A. Um, I, I usually use A. And that does 11 damage. Rather than the regular Hadouken with B. That only does 7 damage. So if I do this. With the actual Street Fighter input. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Alright, let's reset it. Alright, here we go. So if I do this, the regular, this is the melee. Alright, sorry, excuse me. The ultimate input, you just press B. And then uh, the Street Fighter input would be down in, down right A. And that does actually more damage. And that goes farther. That does 10 damage rather than 7 damage. So, like I said, I like doing the Street Fighter inputs. I feel like it's really cool. If you guys can remember all those combos from Street Fighter, it comes in handy. Um, let's do the Tornado Kick. And that's that's the Street Fighter input. 
the command input, and that's 12 damage rather than doing forward and B with the ultimate input. That does 12 damage. I believe it's... That's 12.5 damage, so you get a little extra damage on that. And you can also do different stuff. You can stop it. You can kind of combo into other stuff with that. Um, what I've learned... Um, it, it, you use like both styles. You use your Smash Brothers, uh, you know, you use your Smash Bros gameplay with your Street Fighter gameplay, and you kind of mix it up together. That's what I like doing. Um, but yeah, so let's get into that uh, counter punch. I like this a lot right here. Down and B, and that does 20 damage, and that leaves them stunned, and then. You can follow that up with a heavy hit. Um, up and B. That's the short you can. And that's the melee uppercut. Now you can only do that to get back. So make sure you... You know, you can't use the, the command input to get back. That's just going to do the regular uppercut. If you guys know what I mean. So up and B is going to do the short you can. That's the one that's going to bring you back and get you back up on the stage. Up and B. And then we got the tornado kick. And you can hold that. Lasts pretty long. Does 13 damage. And then if you do the Street Fighter command input. 12.5 damage. So, like I said, I like playing both ways. You can do it together. Mix it up together. Let's get into this gameplay. I'm going to show you exactly what I do. And we're going to go against, uh, and right there, that's just me inputting all the Street Fighter, you know, command inputs. I love it. Like, all the fight combos. That's pretty much how I fight. And then I'll mix in the, you know, ultimate gameplay by mixing it up once in a while with B and stuff like that. Um, but let's get into this gameplay. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Let's get right into it, because I'm going to face off against a level 9 character. Probably Donkey Kong. I think I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one with Donkey Kong, because he's just a good, uh punching bag all right so let's get into it all right before i get into the gameplay i just wanted to go over reuse different outfits he's got the original red and white he's got the blue and almost like a it's like a dark purple uh, he's got the all white he's got the yellow and black purple and orange maroon and kind of like a light blue yellow and purple i think i'm gonna go with this purple right here i really like that shade of purple and I said we were going to go against Donkey Kong, but I think I'm going to have to do it up and go against level 9 Ken. I put the, you know, put this to the true test. And if you guys see my other video, I was actually Ken and I went against level 9 Ryu. And that was just straight gameplay. No commentary by me. Let's get right into this. This is going to be crazy right here. And I'm going to use all the command inputs to my advantage. This is going to be a good fight right here. Let's see, it's going to be insane already. The only thing I don't like about fighting the computer is, like, they like to run a lot. Which, dodging is one thing, but I feel like they just, like, run. This is going to be good. Look at how even this is already. And Ken's moves are pretty much, you know, they're pretty much the same thing from Street Fighter 2. You can look up, the, it's his, his is the same thing, the command inputs. He's got all his moves from Street Fighter, so you, if you guys know how to play with Ken... And you know all his combos, you're going to be able to play in this game too. Which is great. This is a battle right here, man. This is a battle. See how he like kind of just runs away from me a lot? The computer does that a lot. That's why I like fighting online because... I feel like people actually try to fight. Then again, I've had a lot of... One thing I hate about online... Is, uh, it drives me crazy. People just wearing out the clock. You know, and they'll, like, tie it up and then they'll just wear out the clock to get that sudden death just to try to get that final hit. It's really annoying. I hate people that just run around and don't fight. Alright, but I gotta focus more on this battle. This is insane right here. We are going blow for blow right now. And it's all about blocking and dodging. I love that sidekick from Ryu. Nice, give me that. Ooh, nice cut. Nice uppercut. Got it. Let's go. Oh. 
barely hit him. But it did enough damage to knock him off. And this is all, you know, Street Fighter combo inputs. And all the combos are in the, you know, in the men in the menu. You can actually look and go through all the combos. Ooh, look at that! This is like blow for blow, countering each other's moves. This is insane right now. This is so close. Nice. This is a lot of dodging right here. There we go. That uppercut is nice. Ooh. 312. Look at this damage right now. It's crazy. Nice. Good reverse. Good counter. Oh. Good punch. Right to out of bounds. That was beautiful. All right. I got to come back. Get out of here. For thinking you're nice. Computer's nice though. I love fighting against level 9 computers because then when you get online and you play people, I just feel like you have an advantage. Like you, you know, because computer play is like really like, I don't know. I can't explain it. Like really good. The computer dodges like everything. Come on, give me that. Got it again. Don't run. Nice. Beautiful. Love that. And I love that he has two uh, final smashes. Same with Ken. So cool. They really did it up for these guys, for the Street Fighter characters. And, and I said it before, I really hope we get like a, a Blanca DLC or a Bison. I feel like that would be so badass. This battle is insane. I love it. The characters just look so good too. Nice. Oh, I thought he was gonna counter it. I feel like I'm doing really good against the computer. <laughs> nice. This is a battle for dominance, for supremacy. This is like Mario versus Luigi right here. Nice counter. Uh, that'd have definitely knocked him out. Nice. Good block. Ooh. Took too long. Oh, nice comeback. I didn't think it was coming back from that. That was far, too. And that's one thing. I feel like Ken and Ryu's, like, up and B attacks... The range isn't that great, so if you get knocked out, if you get knocked pretty far, you're you're going out. Oh, what a miss. Good stuff. Like, if you get knocked off too far, there's no coming back. Like, same with uh, Ganon. I feel like if when you're Ganon and you try to come back with the up and B, like, if you're not that close to the stage, the range isn't that great and you're going to fall right off the stage. Look at this battle. Look at this. This is all the inputs. Study these combos because when you when you do these combos from Street Fighter and then actually like combine it with using the control stick, the right control stick to do the heavy hits too. It's it's so you're like so beastly. And these graphics are beautiful. I love this game. It's so nice. I, I've, I've been taking so many, like, camera screenshots. I love doing the screenshots. This computer's not playing, though. Nice. Nice. This is a battle right now. Oh, nice! Good counter. I didn't see that coming. Good kick. All right, we got to get him out. We got to have the lead. 
Nice. Computer's good at that, doing that counter. Get out. Even the way he says Hadouken is different. Like, if you do the in input combo, it's loud. Like, he screams it. Rather than if you press B, he's like, Hadouken. And then when he, when you do the input, he's like, Hadouken! Get out. How did he come back from that? Come on, I gotta get that. You don't deserve it. You missed the last one. Got it. Ah, oh, nice. He went right into it. And that's what sucks. Like, I feel like that should be way stronger. I just jumped off his head too. That was sick. I feel like that should be way stronger. I feel like it should be like a huge like energy beam. Not like just like the Hadouken ball. Like how it was in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. I feel like it should be like this huge like energy beam. Jesus, come on, I can't get him out! This is crazy. Come on, just one hit. Get out of here. Nice. Oh, love it. Love it. This is like a battle for like the ages right here. Nice. The people online are nice too, like really good. I've, I've played a lot of people online that were nice. And I played some people that weren't that great either, but it's all about practice. Like, I've, I've played this so many hours of this game. Not only this one, but since Nintendo 64, it's pretty much the same controls. This is insane. Oh, he finally got me. Oh my god, I gotta get that. I gotta redeem myself. Give me it. Ah, oh, he got it. Look at him blocking my attacks. Nice. Get out. Come on, I'm trying to knock it out of him. There we go. Nice. And if you ever see someone get that final smash, don't be afraid to like run up that uh, run, run right up to them and knock it out of them. Nice. Beautiful. Does a good amount of damage. This is a battle, though. It's pretty even. Look at that. The computer, like, knows when, like, I'm blocking, so they don't attack. They just run right up to me and, like, grab me. Computer's like, computer like knows everything. They know like what you're gonna do before you do it, I swear. Talking a little trash right there. Nice. I like that combo. Ah, see that's what you get for, for slipping. That happens, happens to the best of us. It even happens to the computer. Like I said, their range isn't that great, so if you fall down, you're pretty much done. I mean, you can get some range. What, the best thing to do is to use that tornado kick to actually bring you back towards the stage rather than just doing the Shoryuken real quick to just bring you up. You want to do that tornado kick to actually bring you. See how I, I did that right there? It actually brings you back to the stage. Nice. He's trying to get me out. He's mad now because he messed up. Nice. Look at that combo. That was beautiful. Good stuff, computer. Nice. 
trying to bring out the big moves. Oh my god, I almost fell off. Nice. Got it. Oh, he kicked it out. Come on. Bring it. Oh, nice kick. Come on. I can't hit this thing. Jeez. I don't know if that's going to bring him out, but... Actually, take him out of bounds. Nice. He's fighting strong now. Oh, I went the wrong way. Jeez, beautiful. Computer's not playing. He really thinks he's gonna win, huh? All right, we gotta come back. We got this. Get that combo. And this is like with no items. I like doing without items sometimes. You can actually get the gameplay. You can actually fight rather than everybody running for Pokeballs. Try to, <laughs> to try to get the counter with the Pokeballs. Oh no. Nice. Get out. Woo! Against level 9 Ken. And there you guys have it. Ryu for the victory. What an epic battle. What an epic battle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that guy, you know, hope it helped you out as far as the command inputs. Just knowing the Street Fighter combos. I just beasted that. I was actually just using, you know, the Street Fighter combos, integrating that with the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate gameplay with the B, the up and B, the down and B. Ryu's a beast. Probably one of my favorite characters to play online. Um, I'm going to definitely do a Ken uh, gameplay and moveset video. So be on the lookout for that. If you guys like this video, make sure you like it. Subscribe to the channel. And look out for more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate gameplay. And I'm going to wrap this up. What else can I say, guys? Power Level Media. Chosen One. Out. Yeah.